All right, looks like we hit 1030. So go ahead and uh, kick it off whenever you're ready. Sure, can you allow me to share from my screen? It's yep. not letting me, thank you. Lisa, we can't hear that. You're I right. find that it's a big part of your identity. Okay. I have taken this voice memo like 5,000 times because there is so much to say. Like, names are so important. And I find that it's a big part of your identity. It personally is for me. I love my name so, so much. And constantly I get people saying like, oh, you don't even know how to say your own name right. It's like, no, 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 I do. I do know how to say my own name right because reality is no one knows how to say someone else's name except for the person themselves, you know? Like, this is my name. I'm sorry, but I, I get to call the shots here. There is one answer, and that answer is my own. There's no discussion for that. So, personally, you know, when I was younger, I used to tell people, like, yeah, you can call me my tray, like, whatever. You know, I don't care. Because I used to think I was inconveniencing them, but I'm not. I'm asking for basic respect when I want people to say my name right, as many of us do, right? Like, we just want our names to be right. We don't want it to be butchered. But sometimes we just, you know, accept it, which really, really sucks. And I hope, you know, you guys don't have to go through that too often. But now, nowadays, being my great, wise, 19-year-old self, ugh, <laughs> I ask people to say my name correctly. And I put a lot of active effort whenever it's like an interview or, you know, just meeting people in general, like new people. I make sure that they say my name right. And... Haha, <laughs> saved my name pronunciation for the end of this voice memo so you guys listen to the whole thing before because, yeah, we could talk about this for days. Um, yeah, I like to pronounce my name. Drum roll, please. Maitreyi Ramakrishnan. Maitreyi Ramakrishnan. That's how I like to say it. If I want to put a Tamil accent on it, I'm going to say Maitreyi. But it's the same emphasis, the same, you know, syllables and breakdown. But... Yeah, that's how I like it. Not expecting people to switch up their accents on me. Just asking for basic respect. So a very warm welcome to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for taking the time to attend this session. I am Neha Bandekar. My mom always says that the meaning of my name Neha is beautiful eyes. Although Google says it's cherished love, I like to listen to my mom because she named me and it's mom. So Neha is actually a very common name in India, but it always gets mispronounced in the other parts of the world. So there you go. I'm not Neha. I call myself Neha. I also have my beautiful friend and co-speaker Leisha Bustos here. Hi, everybody. Yeah, my name is Leisha Bustos. I um and my name, Leisha, means darkness before midnight. And I got my name because um, my mom had this woman that she knew that she just loved the name Leisha. And um, she thought it was a really pretty name. And so that's how she gave me my name. Um, my name, although to me, it looks like it's a pretty simple name to say and pronounce. Um, it gets butchered all the time. I get called Alicia, Lisa, Lisha, all any, any form you can imagine. Um, and for a very long time, just like we heard with um, my Che Yi and her voice memo, I wouldn't correct people. I just would let it go. And um, I had a faculty member, actually, because I'm an instructional designer. So I work with faculty all the time um, who I really, really respect and admire. And um, she would call me Lisha. And if there is any pronunciation that I hate the most, it's Lisha. <laughs> um, and I wouldn't, I didn't want to correct her um, because I re really respected this woman and um, she's a faculty member and so I didn't correct her. And pretty soon what ended up happening is other faculty members who would pronounce my name correctly, she would correct them and tell them that they needed to pronounce it as Lisha because that's what she thought the correct pronunciation of my name was. So we ended up having to have a little heart to heart one day so that I could get people to stop calling me Lisha. <laughs> so, <laughs> but 
to get us started, um, what I would really like to do is um, play a game. And we are going to go ahead and we're going to break you up into some breakout rooms. And I will post a link in the chat to a Google form. And what you're going to do when you get in the breakout room, there's a couple of things. The first thing you're going to do is introduce yourself to your partner. And depending on how many participants, we might have to have a room that has three people in it. Um, you'll introduce yourself to your partner. And then um, I want you to share if your name has any kind of special meaning to you or how you got your name. Um, it could be, you know, that your name has um, religious meaning to you. It could be that it's a family name. It could be a name that you have given to yourself um, now later in life. Um, and so just have that conversation with the people in your group. And then using the Google link, it's a, it's a link to a Google form. You will um, kind of guess or try to figure out what the, a variety of these names mean. So you'll see a name and there'll be some options for the meaning. You're gonna select what you think the meaning is. Um, and we'll come back here in about, we'll give you about five or six minutes. Um, come back here and kind of discuss that and go from there. So if our lovely session host could go ahead and um, set up those breakout rooms, that would be great. And I will post that link in the chat. So it's not letting me post this link in the chat. You can send a message to the breakout rooms. I tried, it's not letting me post the, like when I try to, to send it, it's not letting me post anything. Do you wanna oh, try it? Goes. It. it just okay. wouldn't <laughs> let me do it in the, okay. It wouldn't let me do it in the, um, using the shortcuts. So once I actually just, Right click pasted it. So I'll try to broadcast a message to all as well. Oh, I just broadcasted that link. To okay, all thank well. you. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. No Fantastic. problem. So it looks like we have two um, two participants that are unassigned. Do you want to assign them somewhere? Yeah. Can get them here. And then everyone else, you should have gotten a little prompt to join a breakout room. So if you can go ahead and accept that prompt, perfect. All right, so you think we'll go to like 1045 and then bring them all back? Yeah. Yeah, um, and someone in room seven is asking for help. Does one of you want to sure. hop over there? Okay, um, was that I, you, Leisha? I think what I will room? have to, oh no, I can drive. I can move you. I can okay. run over to room seven. Perfect, thank you. Neha, it looks like someone in room four is asking for help. Would you be able to hop over into that one? Yeah, I can go there. Move you there.
So it looks like someone in breakout room one is asking for help. Lisha, do you want to go? Should I go? I can go. Sorry, I forgot I was muted. I can go. Okay. Do you want me to send a message letting them know they have about one more minute? Yes, that'd be great. I think that we might need to give them a couple more minutes based on just what I've seen in the rooms. Okay, should I broadcast another message just saying? Or did you already send one out? Saying yeah, I said about fine. one more minute. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I don't have to close them quite yet though. We can yeah. hold off with you. Yeah, just let me know when you want to close them and I will okay, go ahead and close all rooms. Thank you. All right, it looks like people are starting to come back. So if you want to go ahead and close the rooms. Whoa, we didn't even get a countdown. You <laughs> did it? I don't think so. Oh, good. There's a little thing that said there's a minute left and then we went. We must have been too Sorry, busy. Sorry about okay. that. <laughs> so we couldn't access any Google Docs and we don't know what oh. we were supposed to do there because it, it flashed up on the screen for a second but it wasn't uh -huh. hyperlinked or anything so i don't we 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 had a great talk but we don't know what you wanted with the google docs <laughs> one of that happened to us as well but luckily one of us was able to capture it and put it in the chat for the rest of us so yay tom i'm so sorry about that well i mean it was just kind of like a multiple choice survey where you got to try to guess the meanings of some names. But the really important part was the conversation that I hope you all had surrounding your own names. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen now um, and give you the answers for the name meanings. So here were the, here were the list of names and here are the, na the meanings according to Google um, for, for, those, for those names. Um, my son's name is Brady. I had no idea that his name meant large chested. Um, Brady is actually my 
maternal, my mom's maiden name. So that's why we named him Brady. But all right. So um, I, I hope that you 